You said this is more than you could ever ask for. That was more than I could ask for. So yeah. talk to me about what you like about well, this. Well, that's the money maker right there. Well, come talk to me about it. Well, this is called a mulcher, a forest mulcher, forestry mulcher. And you can clear trees. I don't know. How, what's this for? Ten inch. inch. Up to ten inch trees. You could take all this down. You couldn't take that big tree down, but you could take all this down with nothing. All of this stuff around here, all the shrubs and stuff, that's what it's designed to do is clear it all out. 
Okay, and so you weren't expecting to come up with a skid steer with with that a molter. No, then. that's that's uh, twenty eight thousand dollars brand new. That's twenty eight thousand dollars brand new. Yeah, just and, this piece right here. Now, did you buy this brand new yourself? No, no. Okay. So between that and the cooler and the winch that's on the back and the treads, and the winch on the back, it's got. $30,000 worth of attachments on it. So tell me about this uh, cooler thing. What is that? That keeps everything cool so you can run your hydraulics without it ever stressing out and burning out any rubbers or anything. Keeps the whole thing running And cool. not every skid steer has that. No. no, but they should when they use a high flow like that. They, they, when you put high flow stuff on there and you're going to run it all the time, they recommend that you put a cooler on it so it doesn't get hot. Okay, and then tell me about the winch on the back. The winch is only for emergency. So if you get stuck, <laughs> you just you just hook your hoses to it. I think that's right. Yeah, yeah. You hook your hoses to it and get yourself pulled out. <laughs> so it's got a it's got a safety thing built in. And then we yeah, were talking you ain't about moving this thing. It's fifteen thousand pounds. And you were telling me that you wanted one with uh with the tracks instead of the tires, right? Oh yeah, because I mean on a muddy day, that's what you want. Well, look at that. It's a rainy, money day. Now, if you ever wanted to, could you could you do both? Could you put tires on there? Uh, to... yeah, no. You're oh, you can't? Oh, you can't? skid steer. <laughs> oh. yeah. Well, but we were I looking mean, at ones can. that had tires, and then you could put treads on top yeah, of the well, tires. That's, that's when they come with tires. You can buy the metal ones to go around. Oh, so if, if the skid steer itself had tires, then you can actually buy, like, uh, treads to put on the tires. Right, right. But you can't put tires on that. No. Well, yeah. you could, but it wouldn't be feasible. It, okay, all right. And you, and then what year is this? 2016. A 2016. And how long have you owned it? I've had it four or five months now. Four or five months? <laughs> Just four or five months? Yeah. So tell us the story. Tell us why you've only had this four or five months. I bought and we got it to start another side business with it. And as soon as I put it as, as a business on Marketplace, I got like 10, 15 calls. And, and I got jobs with it. But it's hard to do this and run a trucking company and drive and do this all at the same time. And you just kind of weren't factoring all that in. And I point. wasn't factoring all that in. Like, this is going to take up a lot of time. And I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, I'll, just, I'll either sell it or trade it or do something with it. And okay. Here we are. But you're obviously pretty happy with it. I do I do like it. Uh, nice. I figured if nothing else, it'd just sit here and look pretty. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, so it kept you busy on the weekend? It did. It kept me really busy on the weekend. Too busy. And, yeah. you, and you were making some good money with that? Yeah. We, we worked one job last weekend, and uh, we grossed $1,500 in two days. Wow. Wow. Now, that's, gro that's grossing. That's gross. It no, only cost me $260 to run the machine. Oh, okay. So, okay. All and it right. And was, it was nine-hour days. Oh, so right. 600 bucks a day 600 in the pocket. Oh, okay. All right. And, and, and have you ever had any maintenance concerns about it at all? As soon as we got it, I changed the filters, all greased everything. I haven't had a minute's trouble out of it. And I piddled with it, run it. I haven't had a minute. Burns like a kid. Yeah, it's set here and run. Um, this morning, I cranked it up. That was the first time I cranked it all week. Kicked right off. Could we? Could, could Steven get up in it? Yeah. Steven, go ahead and show, show the world. You, you're going to take command. I'm going to take command. You're going to take the, the helm. Is okay. the captain's helm. Okay. It, how do you get up in there? Just...
a kitten, Steven says. Well, that's really exciting. Well, Steven, congratulations on the Lord's gifts being delivered to you. That's amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. Thank you, Father. Amen. So, um, what do you know about um, the, the whole reason why we wanted to do a trade is for like tax purposes. Like, what do you know about that as far as like um, it's supposed to like if there's no money exchange, if there's no cash exchange, then and it's called a fair trade. I mean, how does that work as far as taxes are concerned? You can also, I think, I'm gonna call my buddy after a while. He told me to call him. And I also think if we gift each other the item, like say you gift me the truck on the title, and I gift you this machine on the on the, you know, it's no taxes, no money, no nothing. So okay, okay. Yeah. But you're not gonna have to pay. Like since I'm not giving you any money, you're not gonna have to pay anyway. Right, you know, and the same just, thing for you too. Right. We're just gonna call it equal value. That's the whole reason why I set it up there. Yeah. Right? yeah. So when I paid thirty five percent gross income on my last truck that I sold, I was like, that made me sick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we we took a huge loss on our Peterbilt, a huge loss. And then when when I get ready to title that truck or something, I'll just put in what I think it's worth because down here in Tennessee, they months. they don't need to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. They don't need to know. But have you ever seen a Facebook Marketplace ad? We'll trade. Never. Where the trucking company is right no. now. You can knock the work down. Everybody needs to know it has less than a million miles. That's it. That's it. Yeah. So, do I understand uh, from a conversation you're planning on coming down to, to see us today? Yeah. The motor, yeah. The motor itself has about three or four hundred thousand on the rebuild. Okay. Okay. Now, will you be by yourself or you'll be bringing no i'll bring my wife she wants to go on a trip so i was like well we'll go on a trip <laughs> okay yeah 100 mile trip all yeah, right it wasn't too long yeah. two hours so this is uh what well, do you have the time do you know what time it is 10 30 it is 10 30 a.m on friday morning may 24th and this afternoon when his wife gets off work they're going to come down to our place and see the truck and trailer so um Oh, AJ, it doesn't, just sometime today, so. Yeah, probably around, she gets here probably around 4.35. Yeah, so it'll be this evening, so. Um, well, Stephen, let's say it together. Let's say it's a God thing. Yeah, well, your girls are here, right? Yeah, yeah. So they come with you? I have problems. Yeah, so we'll see your girls then. Um, I'm just thinking, if I want to take the truck home, will you? Well, how? Okay, well, we'll have to work all that right, out. We'll have to wait for you to make your decision. Okay, so it's on the so until the decisions are made, but he might since he's there just take the truck with him. Um, all right, we're gonna do this Bring on the your title just in case. This don't have titles. Oh, okay. Oh, well, how does that work? We'll make a bill of sale. You know, yeah, just bill of sale. Any equipment, uh, dozers, track hose, skid steers, Trailers. tractors. They don't drivers, have titles, but they have VIN numbers, right? They do have VIN numbers, but no titles. Oh. Oh, that's right. Your uh, your forklift doesn't have a title. We yeah. have we have a forklift that yeah, doesn't I got have a, a forklift title. Forklift. No, I was thinking how it's a big thirty five series. Yeah. And I was like, well, that'd help me move all this stuff. Around. Well, see, when they when you go and buy a tractor or a dozer or something, the only thing you're paying is sales tax. You don't have to pay wheel tax and all the other tax on the equipment. Tax, that's right. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why these don't have titles. Oh. Okay. Well, I, I didn't. Well, I knew that we didn't have a title well, on. We got titles. Yeah, oh, and they're, and they're yeah. free and clear. Yeah. And they, yeah. they don't have I'm a lien on. It would save time, but it would take me some time to get my gear out. Um, but uh, well, okay. So, so you do believe this is a God thing? I do, yeah. yeah. And we all know this is a God thing. So we're gonna end this video on a God note. So on the count of three, everybody's gonna say it's a God thing. All right? Oh, that's corny. No, no, it, yeah, no! It's it praising Jesus. No, we're just it's saying, praising it's Jesus. A God thing. Ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> and... Peace. Later.